He's so cute. You are wet. Hey guys, it is Jay London. I am piecing in. How are you doing today? I'm having a great day. I hope you're having a great day. And I am back. And I am bit on the envelope. I've been gone for a while from YouTube. Uh, I've been gone for like a month. I want. Yeah, a month. Um, so that past month, it's been a couple reasons that I haven't been back. I, I've been going through a lot. Like it's been like a roller coaster. It goes up, and then it goes right back down, and then it goes up, and then it goes right back down. Um, I have depression, anxiety, and OCD. So all that has been really um, affecting me in a, a lot of a lot of ways. Um, there's been days that I've been like really happy. That's when the roller coaster is really hot. But then there's been some days that I've been really sad and not um, not motivational. Not, I had no motivation. I had it, it's it's just it wasn't it wasn't a good place. And that's when it's going down. So it's been, that's why I say roller coasters because it goes up and goes down. But sometimes you have that point that's like right that it's kind of a good point. But I moved all the way from Allentown, Pennsylvania to here, Orlando, Florida. So I've been here for a month. And so far, it's it's been okay. It's not been how I thought it was gonna be. You know? um, but luckily, I'm here with uh, my sister and my brother-in-law. So it's been really uh, good on that part. I'm really thankful for that. I love them for helping me out. But it's just it hasn't, you know, it hasn't. I, I don't know. It's, I'm not like at home. You can say it's just, it's just it's not. I don't like it. The last night I was thinking, I was I was just sitting thinking, and I was like, okay, I need something because I'm not I haven't been doing anything, so I need something to really like pick me up, something that I had to like remember, like okay, what was the thing that really got me that that made me kind of happy, and that was kind of therapeutic for me, and I was like making videos. So last night I was just sitting here, and then my brother-in-law was sitting in the dining room, and I was like, you know what, you know what's coming back for a season two, <laughs> my YouTube. So I was like, let me put in a season two. Let me do this again. Let me, I have to, it was something that I like doing, but now I'm going to, the type of videos that I want to make now is, um, I really like doing singing videos and I really like um, doing stuff along the lines, like artistic, like music and, 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 um, and acting and all the different stuff so I really want to do videos upon that that's something that I know but I'm good at but yes I am back now um tell me how was your Christmas I want to know how your Christmas went let me know how everything was for you I guess um and at the same time I want to make this video I want to all the people that have that suffered through depression out there and have anxiety and have all those things I just want to let you know that you're not alone you know we all go through it we all have, have it. More than 56% of Americans in the United States suffer through depression, anxiety, or some type of mental disorder every day. So you're you're not alone. I'm pretty sure the statistics went high since last time I checked. But you're not alone, and you can get through this. And some things that really, really help me, and I have to give thanks because I have this. Let me show you. This book. It's called Abundance Now by Lisa Nichols. This book right here. It's, uh, I really adore and I really love this book. And um, Lisa Nichols, I, I found her out on Facebook. It's about um, how she went, I'll read the back for you. In 1994, in government assistance with just $11.42 left in her bank account, Lisa Nichols resolved to break out of the mindset, behaviors, and habits that keep us from enjoying life's riches. So what does it take to go from the shame and desperation of the welfare line to the riches and self-worth of building something bigger? What is it to live abundantly without wasting, waiting to first create substantial financial wealth? Lisa will tell you. Here's Lisa Nichols' unique formula, the four E's that are key to help you to find your breathtaking and inspiring life and assignments, etc. So basically, she just tells us about her life a bit and she tells us how to have an abundant and to amplify your life and achieve prosperity. So it's something that really, really helps me. I read some of it every day. I always, I, I, I could really read the whole book like in one day, but I'm trying. I leave it like for like short instances, I have this left. I read some every day because I want something to motivate me every day, something new that I can try every day. And she also has some types of exercises in here that you can do. She has um, quizzes, she has stuff that you can write out that, that really, I didn't think it was going to change the way I thought. I mean, I always had a specific mindset. I always had a, um, uh, a mindset of like having 
like I always had a positive attitude towards everything, a positive mind, so no judging. But I didn't think this was gonna open it me ten times more, and it really has. So guys, definitely pick up a copy of Lisa Nichols' Abundance now, and um, I'm gonna leave a, a link to it on the bottom from Amazon. I got it from Amazon. And um, did, by the way, this isn't an ad or anything, but <laughs> I just really, this book has helped me a lot and it's really motivated me. And one quote that I'm gonna like read a quote from it that really got me. Th this is one thing that um, she got from Oprah Winfrey. It says, lots of people want to ride with you in the limo, but what you want is someone who will take the bus with you when the limo breaks down. Like she has so many quotes like that. I really love that, that quote, by the way. So she has stuff like that, or in this one, surround yourself with the best people you can find, delegate authority, and don't interfere as long as the policy you've decided upon is being carried out. So it's this, it's just really nice stuff, so guys check it out. So that's one thing that helped me, Lisa Nichols, thank you. Also, I have this notebook that's chewed up because of my dog and like falling apart, but I really like it. And I always say writing stuff down and writing the way like writing stuff that you can kind of talk about how you feel so I always I always have a notebook and a pen always have it with me for anything so um because I feel like if you write stuff down not only will stuff be more prosperous for you because you've actually written down you actually took in the time to think about what you want to write in this book and it, I feel like it helps you accomplish everything way more but on top of that it really it um it's kind of like a venting, you know, some people like talking, some people, I like talking, but this also helps as well, so that's one thing I help. So, um, yeah, those are just some things that help me out, you know, try to relax, try to um, take yourself out of, like, shut off your phone, make yourself some tea, and just relax somewhere. That really, like, you clear your mind, that helps as well. So there's so many other things that can get you out of the funk. Those are things that help me get out of the funk. Another thing that I forgot to put in there, guys, was that um, another thing that helped me out with my depression is watching stuff that like kind of cheers you up. I personally, I love Ellen DeGeneres and the Ellen Show, the uh, anything uh, the her 1980 Ellen Show, 1990s. Um, I just love watching her, her energy, her her generosity, everything about her. That's another thing that really, really um, helped me out. And still, till this day, I always wait till three o'clock. And I have it recorded and everything, so that's another thing that helps me out. So try to watch something that um, that kind of gets you um, kind of happy to watch, you know? So, yeah. And yeah, you're not alone. You know, we've all been through. We've all used Prozac or life, like stuff like that. So you're not alone. Definitely, you're not alone. Just I'm just letting you know that there's so much more out there. You just can't give up. You know, uh, there's been times. That, that I just wanted to give up on acting and all of it, but you can't not give up. You have to keep going. Because if I'm gonna keep going, you can keep going. So keep, keep, keep going, guys. Um, I'm just gonna keep it short from there on. I'm gonna make way more videos for you since I have more free time on my hands. And I'm back, and this time I'm not gonna leave you. So remember to be kind and to give someone a hug if they're having a bad day. And I love you guys. Peace out. Bye 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 bye. No, because this one you get jealous. So you, you get jealous. Oh no no no.